Hey everybody, this is just a very quick nursery update. We are not selling American persimmons this spring. I am not sure yet about next fall or this upcoming fall. We did not like what we ended up with at the end of last season, which was really interesting because it's the same thing we had done the season prior. <laughs> so we're struggling with media and fertilizing. We don't want to use soilless media at all anymore. And so we're using up some potting media that we had, which is soilless, but we've mixed it with garden soil so that there's actually life in there. And I have a really good feeling about that. And we have them in our air prune boxes again, and we've got a little shade going on. This is American persimmons. We just happen to have four of these air prune pots, so we've got a few pawpaws in there just to see how they do because we had the seed. And then this here is just a complete experiment. I didn't have any more boxes, uh, wood boxes, so we're just using a cardboard box. See what that does, how long it can actually hold up. And then these pots have some more American persimmon seeds in them just to test for germination ability because we do not like what pots like this grow. And the plants that we have planted on our property that we've bought from other nurseries, woody plants and whatnot that have grown in pots like this are just not performing the way that they would if they had grown from a seed in the ground. Whether they will correct over time, who knows? But in terms of woodies, you don't really have all that time to mess up if you want to see some growth within your own lifetime. So we definitely are not buying anything else in pots like that and we're not growing in pots like that. So the, again, this is just a germination test. Those are the last two pots we have like that, everybody. That's it. And I stuck a few American persimmon seeds throughout this very old air prune bed that we made that's really big. Steve sowed some crimson clover cover crop in here because this is all just that soilless media. And I'm very curious to see what happens with those seeds. What we ended up with last year were some nutrient deficiencies that showed up as discoloration along the venation of the leaf. And then that made them very vulnerable to persimmon psyllids, which is a type of aphid very common they're totally a native insect and they're not a problem unless your trees are stressed and so they made a lot of babies and they ate a lot they didn't kill any of the persimmons but they made a lot of stunted growth so we're gonna see i'm so excited about these different whatever you want to call them polycultures i don't know i'm not really that fancy about that other than i know that soil is alive and it grows the best plants Dead soil, I have not been impressed with. So that would be soilless media or things treated with chems. And then here's one that's in an outside. This is one of our controls, same types of seeds, but it's gonna be in full sun with the soilless media and then some actual soil in here. So we'll report back in, I don't know, mid season or the fall. We'll see what happens, but it's always good to keep trying and it's always good to keep learning from Mother Nature because she certainly knows best. You might be able to get some results following some of these standard recipes with soilless media and peat and lots of inputs of synthetic fertilizers, but there's a great cost to that and I think it's really important to look at the cost and the sustainability because if it's not sustainable in the long run, what is the point? So let's be sustainable. That's what we're working on. And permaculture stuff is the closest I've found everybody. So I haven't hit it quite on the head yet, but that is getting closer.